Okay, pause. Now you all are thinking that I am surely dead, right? Four enemies, a tower shot is approaching, my health is below half. But watch what happens. This is tanky lamp for you. Look at the HP. Look at it. Under the tower now. And that's a triple kill. And I'm basically having more HP at the end than what I had at the start of the fight. Okay guys, so this is the build. Uh, as you can see for jungle item, I'm going to be using giant grip. So for each kill on creeps, it will give me more max HP. So we are going to need a lot of uh, max HP in this build. And then for boots, in the late game go for boots of resistance. But in the early game just go for boots of tranquility so that you can spam your S2 and auto attacks a lot more in the early game. And then we have uh, blazing cape. It will deal damage to all the enemies that are near you. So when you go for 1v5 it will be a lot of help and then this is the most important item the eye of the phoenix and this one will enhance all your healing so lamb gets lifesteal after uh, using second ability and auto attacks right so you will basically heal a lot more if you have this item and then this is just to reduce the enemy's attack speed and movement speed so when you go into fights it will be passively helping you out a lot and then finally pure sky so this is again for 1v5 where all the enemies will be using their abilities on you at the same time. A lot of burst damage incoming, right? That is when you have to use this to nullify most of the damage. And then the Arcana is also important. We are going to be using uh, these three. So all three of them give max HP. So yeah, let's get right into the gameplay. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be an amazing video for you guys who are trying to push rank in this season. Lamb got a buff and now a tanky build lamb is much more powerful than a full attack build lamb. You will see that in this video. I have also shown the build at the start and uh, I will also give a voiceover for the build section because it is really important because this uh, video is going to be focused on uh, how good you are going to build him. Okay. So starting off with the blue buff and uh, we are going to go for the max HP jungle item. And uh, we are only going to be using uh, the Axe of Torment which is uh, Spear of Longinus from uh, AOV. Other than that all the other equipments that I am going to build on Lamb on this match are going to be defensive and you will see how OP it is going to be. Okay so yeah uh, let's, let's just get uh, right into it. Okay clear the blue side. I feel like the enemies will come here now. Uh, so yeah see Agodo is here and by the way guys okay I'll tell it after this fight this fight is going to be epic so let's try to get the uh, red buff looks like the enemy marksman is here the enemy jungler is also here Agodo and the enemy support is here all three are here and all four okay look at this look at this now I become level four okay alt yes two first kill got another kill and my teammates came and got two more kills so we got four kills to start off the match instantly and you saw how much i was able to survive there and this is not really the tanky lamb that i was talking about this is just basically lamb i i have a little bit of hp now and we haven't even built one full item yet okay so yeah and i'm going to change my boots to cooldown reduction because if I have cooldown reduction boots on, in, in the early game itself I will have a 30% CDR, okay? Got Zoyu out of the tower. I'm going to keep attacking. You might be wondering what this Agoda was doing. He was just standing there, right? You might be wondering what he was doing, but what he actually was doing was Agoda can perform a ritual. I forgot to tell you guys about this. Okay, okay, coming back here. Look at look at this look at this healing guys. You saw how much I was able to survive there, right? And uh, that is because of the tanky jungle item that we are building. And our team managed to get a kill on the enemy marksman. And we barely escaped with a little bit of HP. Okay, uh, coming back to Agodo. In my Agodo video, I was talking about uh, the punish. Uh, for Agodo, it's different, right? And uh, I was really, I was like telling, I don't really know what it means. But 
Agodo is one of the fastest junglers guys if you just go to a creep and click that punish and stop moving you have to stop moving she will perform a ritual and she will just suck in the creep that's it you don't even need to kill the creep so that was really cool so you might try that uh, you might want to try that out okay guys see i didn't even recall i was basically at 1 hp and you saw how much i was able to heal just off of those minions right so lamb is just insane guys and in the late game you will see fights where I literally go from 1 HP to uh, like full HP or I will stay in 1 HP in the middle of all 4 enemies ok let's try to get another kill on this poor guy yeah easy kills early game and also in the late game you can be powerful with this build so usually lamb is not very powerful in the late game because he will die before he can even do anything he can one shot people still with full attack build but uh, it's not as fun as this one trust me this is way more fun being able to stand in the middle of four enemies and not dying at all is just another feel guys okay as soon as we uh, clear the second jungle uh, the the major objectives have spawned so right now we are attacking the, the equivalent of the abyssal dragon and going to the middle lane to get the wave and this is by the way solo queue guys so all of you solo queue players you can like take this video as reference as to how to play solo queue you see how I am fully focused on objectives uh, first jungle rotation uh, went and attacked second jungle rotation got the like the abyssal dragon and now I uh, like started farming again okay I am going to try and fight these two now look at my HP it is still full okay and uh, we have Alain, Joyu and Agodo and I am going to try to use my second ability on two enemies you know if uh, Lamb uses his second ability on two enemies he will be able to attack uh, the enhanced auto attack three times right so that is what I was trying to do there but then I decided to like retreat and not spoil a good video uh, by trying to do something dumb instead I thought he has very good healing right so I can like quickly heal off of our jungle and go engage again but then realized I don't have sage buff which means my mana which is very low it's not going to come up so I decided to just go and attack the sage buff instead of that and now I was going to go there but uh, our cow cow already killed uh, the enemy mage Alain is here still and now see I push Alain towards the dragon so that I can get 3 stacks so still I am trying to do the same thing I am trying to get 3 stacks uh, so for getting 3 stacks you need 2 enemies right so always try to push your uh, enemies to one location so that if you attack your second ability you will get 3 stacks immediately ok so this is what you should know about lamb this is very important for uh, big team fights and also for solo fights because try to fight enemies very next to like minions or creeps uh, so that when you use your second ability it will hit the enemy and also the creep so you will get maximum stacks ok and guys uh, the attack build I mean the tanky build on lamb really works very good because lamb automatically deals more damage to enemies who have low HP and his second ability gives him a lot of healing so every time you use the enhanced auto attack after using the second ability this enhanced auto attack right he attacks chuck chuck those two auto attacks if you get three stacks it's three auto attacks right here we got three since we are hitting three enemies uh, so yeah these auto attacks can heal right so we are going to be very good <coughs> as a tanky warrior jungle because we also deal damage more damage to low hp enemies and uh, we also heal a lot so we basically won't die but we'll be slowly look at this look at this look at this healing look at all of all of them are attacking i'm just spamming my s2 and auto attack but i don't know why this uh, like this helen what is uh, the hero called in HOK? I don't know why he was waiting <laughs> without ulting as soon as I died he used his ult if he had used it a little bit earlier I would have uh, I would have killed all of them because you know how much that ultimate heals unlike in uh, AOV uh, this uh, Helen's ult and first ability both are single target here it will heal the lowest HP teammate okay and uh, so basically it will like immediately bring me back up and I would have been able to fight them but right now it was just too much for me and uh, they are now invading and uh, they are getting all the, the stuff okay look at this we're okay, going in 
I think we'll get a kill on Shoyu and we can also... Okay, all of them are here so this is a good time. Look at my HP, it doesn't go down guys, it doesn't go down, I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Unless it's like all five of them attacking me instantly at the same time, I really don't die. And you, uh, in later uh, later in the game, there is another team fight, uh, team fight which is even better than this. I came here now because the enemy stole our blue buff, right? And I really, I really want blue buff with lamb right now because i just want to spam my abilities the next team fight without blue buff there will be like a one second or one and a half second cooldown on the second ability even if you use three auto attacks and also since i'm using the cooldown reduction boots it's giving me like a slight advantage but the downside is i might get stunned a lot uh, more but yeah we have to sacrifice something to get something right so that is what i'm like counting on i'm hoping that i won't get like Unlocked by the enemies. Okay, let's engage here. All of them. Okay. Okay, went to the middle. Look at my HP. Spamming second ability and auto attacks. Okay. HP really down. Look at this. Look 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 at that guys. How was that? <laughs> we are building full tank and we basically won't die. And we are like attacking enemies. Like uh, his enhanced auto attacks are basically he goes behind them and attacks and then comes this side and attacks. It's basically like shak 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 the entire time. The whole team fight I've been spamming auto attacks and look at my HP now. It's back to full. I just cleared two. A sage buff and those creeps and I think even before I started attacking the creeps my sage buff was uh, like sa my sage buff alone got me to full HP. So yeah, like this is so much fun to play and he is busted. He's the strongest hero in my opinion right now. And uh, just just play him and you will be able to quickly soar up on the ranks. Okay. Okay, Agodo is there. I see him using the ritual, but I'm going to try and uh, get the sage buff. But yeah, he managed to punish it. Okay, they are all there. I cannot engage right there in the middle of all of them because they are also under the tower. But uh, yeah, we still got one. And I am the one who is uh, like tanking major, uh, like I am doing the major uh, tanking part in this team fight and my HP, it, it, I just like I say, I just never die and it's also super cool to watch this guy like uh, attack, like he is all over the place right, whenever it's, uh, it's uh, he's in a fight, he's just all over the place, he just attacks everyone randomly like uh, like target someone chak chak chik chak then jumps here does that uh, does that and then jumps there does this and uh, yeah stuff like that and here i really don't want the match to end because i wanted to showcase to you guys how powerful this guy is or his auto attacks are so all the enemies are here so i go in and just for my ultimate someone already died because my teammates are also fighting i hope they die <laughs> so that i can show you guys uh, how good this hero is Okay, I'm going to try and attack the back line and look at my HP, look at my HP, look at this healing guys, look at this, this is what I was talking about, I'm in the middle of all four enemies and look at my auto attacks, see, what is this, is this even balanced, like this is what I meant when I said he is so powerful as a tanky warrior and you have to give him a try, easy stars guys, easy stars, they have basically made him busted by doing that and it's literally solo queue. Uh, so you guys can't like I, I don't even depend on my team right now in this match so far I haven't uh, Like uh, they are doing a major part. I can tell you that but uh, Like you can see how much this guy can do on his own even with uh, the team doing bare minimum That is what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying that my teammates are not doing anything, but uh, Basically, I'm doing a lot more and also it's more fun. It's more like classy to play this guy like it, it overall okay okay another fight okay try to bring all of them out but didn't work okay just spam 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 yes two auto attack yes two auto attack it's all we need in life guys okay nice save by uh, our helen there i think i would have died there if uh, he hadn't if she hadn't used her heal there okay got three stacks suck 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 second ability suck 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 look look at this this is what i was talking about brought that guy alessio out and still attacking and uh, by mistake <laughs> Yeah, even I didn't even die to that initial core shot, but then uh, like I went inside the range of the core Alter once again and the second shot killed me. <laughs> okay, so that that is what I wanted to share to you guys. This is such a 
such a nice hero so much fun to play and so easy as well so try him out let me know what uh, what how it goes for you and yeah so good luck with the new rank guys uh, i am also rank pushing like not so intensely but i am like pushing whenever i get the chance so whenever i come i basically play only rank so yeah okay and i'm also traveling right now guys so that is why i was not able to upload for the last two days and even right now i'm at the hotel and i wanted to get this video out for you guys so that you can have much better success in rank matches so that's going to be it for the video guys we see okay guys look at this 37.5 37.5 damage and damage taken same <laughs> This is such a coincidence because I was talking about how this build is like both defensive and also offensive at the same time and this just proves my point. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video guys. I hope you all found this video entertaining and helpful and if you did make sure to support me by hitting the like and subscribe button. I hope you all have a really great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.